Greetings and welcome back to another episode. So today we are back here with my cell phone. So if you remember the last episode that I had with the cell phone, I replaced the charging port on it. And honestly, the last couple of weeks I've been using the phone and I haven't had any issues with it at all. It's been working fantastically. So if you also remember too, uh, towards the end of the last episode, I did very gingerly rip the ribbon cable for the biometric reader. So I have the replacement here and um, got it on eBay. It wasn't that expensive, so that was nice. So we will be replacing that. So let's get cracking. All right, first things first, we got to take the... I uh, forgot to take the case off before. Eh. A lot of dust and dirt in there. Yeah, work construction, so next up you gotta remove the SIM card. So now we gotta take the back piece off here. Uh which it, it's been opened once before, so well obviously. So it should come off easier. Um, if you need to see it, how to open it for the first time, just reference the last video. You gotta basically heat it up, but this should just pop right off. So this is actually the step that I <laughs> ripped the ribbon cable off. So if you remember the warning I gave in the beginning of my video while I was disassembling, you have to press the, you have to press the fingerprint reader down because it's, it's glued into it. And I was having trouble with the, charging, so I just kind of ripped it off. Actually, I might have to heat this up again. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you can see that's how I uh, ripped the ribbon cable off. There's the other half of it. So we're gonna have to get underneath here. So these screws up here are Torx. So we're just gonna remove them. And kinda what I'm hoping is that all I have to do is just pop this top piece off. Nothing else. Uh, please be easy coming up part. something a little longer there. Ah, just pops right off. Cool. All right, cool. Looks like that's what I need right there. All right, so just kind of want to show what's kind of going on here. So on the back piece here, why that was a little bit for me to get off it looks like there's some rubber pieces here for the lenses so that's gonna kind of give you a little bit of resistance so you just want to pry firm but don't go nuts because you don't want to break it because you also got some contacts here for like the flash and whatever the hell that is um, not actually exactly sure 
and I don't feel like pulling up a schematic or anything like that. So you just want to be careful and just use one of these tools to just kind of gently but firmly pry this piece up. So we're going to set this aside because we don't need it right now. All right, now the next thing we got to do is we got to pry this up. I believe this connector with the broken ribbon cable on it. Yeah, that thing just kind of like flew out of there. So get this one unpackaged. Okay, so now we're ready to put this on. So we got to take this piece and press it into there and make that connection. And then we got to try and get this piece over or under the thumbprint reader. Might be a little awkward, but we'll see. So when you're putting this back on, there's going at least on this phone, uh, the G Power, um, there's gonna be tabs that have to slide in here and then also here. So you just gotta kinda like firmly press it down and then to seat the cameras um, into the rubber, I guess, O-rings, you just gotta firmly press them down. So it takes a little finagling. If you feel it wiggling, it's not seated in. So you just gotta kinda flex it around and kinda get that to seat in properly. But with that in place, now we can start screwing this back together. You know, it's gonna be nice getting this uh, biometric reader to be working again. I didn't realize how much I actually used it until I didn't have it. I'm trying to log in this stuff with it and then it's like, crap, what the hell are my passwords? amazing how reliant we get on these things, especially something so minute. But that is the way the world works these days. Take the old one out. Cover back on. The old glue should hold it in place. I'm not sure if you're supposed to replace the glue. I think I said that in the last video, but this is my own phone. I don't really care. It's gonna be in a case anyway. Alright, so let's power it up. This will take anywhere from a minute to 15, so I'll just bring you back. Okay, moment of truth. Hmm. 
Well then. I, get, I kind of have a feeling though, it might need to be recalibrated. So let's, let's go into the settings and then we'll click setup, find the sensor. It is working. So yeah, I guess it just has to be recalibrated. Yeah, I might as well add my left finger too. Alright, now the moment of truth. Fingerprint not recognized, fingerprint not recognized. Too many attempts, swipe up to unlock. Well, now that's working perfectly. All right, so there it is. Actually, not a not a really hard job to do. Um, pretty straightforward. I think cell phone repair is more intimidating than it actually, looks more intimidating than it actually is. I mean, that was pretty simple to get to and replace. Unfortunately, it's not working for me on camera, but um, these Motorola fingerprint readers can be a little finicky, at least in my experience, so. Um, I do remember when I first got the phone a couple of years ago, I had to do a few attempts to get it to actually finally register my fingers. So I'll play around with it off camera. It's not a big deal. It is readings that, like to, for the setup, so I'm confident it's going to work. So um, yeah, that's that. And um, thank you again for watching. Um, if you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this content and you would like to see future content, I definitely have some really cool things in the pipeline that I'm going to be recording. And you definitely don't want to miss it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you again. And remember, fix it, don't ditch it. Have a good one.